We want big damage with Melina. Scorpion has really good synergy. He lets her get damage off her amplified ball roll. And her down teleport. Again, Melina has a variety of combo starters, but you're typically probably going to start a combo from her 1-2, which is this string right here. If you're lucky enough to get a punish off 4-3-4, four, four, you're just going to do more damage. Your typical B&B combo with one Scorpion cameo would look something like this. Two things about that first combo number one is make sure to call scorpions assist right after you do down teleport so go into her air combo which is one two two do down teleport and call scorpion right away so you can see 43 percent is a ton of damage for just one cameo and no meter that way you can save her meter for her two bar side combo or even just a breaker another good way to squeeze out some damage in neutral is to use her combos that have some low mix-ups her first one is four two four three three which looks like this you typically can't cancel into a special from this combo once you start the dagger low sequence, which is right here. Um, but if you have Scorpion, you can actually call him out and get a solid 30 plus percent. Her other good combo is her forward 144. It's her only combo that really starts with the mid, so it's good to check people who are poking or it's good for wake up. You are able to special cancel out of this move, but you have to do it before the low ends and it can be tricky sometimes. However, if you call in Scorpion, it's no problem. So now with one cameo, she's a big threat from any of her combo starters. When using both cameos, you're basically gonna do the same combo you did with the mouthful air combo, which is one, two, two, but you're gonna do it twice in a row and it'll look something like this. When you do in that combo, it's it's better to end it with a roll because it's really tough to get this forward four to connect. When Melina's using one bar with no cameo, her best bet is to go into up teleport combo, which looks like this. Once you start incorporating the Scorpion cameo though, her best bet is to go into amplified ball roll. So a typical B and B, one bar, one cameo combo would look something like this. Regardless of what combo starter you do, so whether it's one, two, four, three, four, once you get into amplified ball roll, you're gonna wanna call Scorpion out on the third hit of this combo. So right when she stabs her daggers into them together, call Scorpion and make sure you do far fire breath. Now, that's how you'll be able to get the two hits and the ability to juggle as easily as possible. From there, it's just standing four into ball roll into your typical Molina shenanigans. Let's talk about one bar, two cameos. This is where you can start to get to what they call the two touch mode, where Molina's doing over 50%. You're gonna wanna start this combo kinda similar to the way we started the one before, where we're gonna go into amplified ball roll, but then we're gonna make a slight change. So you can see by adding the extra cameo with the bar, you're squeezing out an extra three to four percent, which actually can make the difference between winning and losing. In the corner, it's pretty much the same type of combo. The only difference is instead of doing far fire breath with Scorpion, you need to do close fire breath. It'll look something like this. All right, let's get into the two bar, two cameo scenario. So now you're looking in the 58, 
57 ranges um, for spending quite a bit of resources, however. So this is a good way to kind of close games out. One more unique thing about having Scorpion as a cameo with Melina is she can actually combo out of a throw if she's trapped in the corner. Now this does scale quite a bit, but it could turn the tide in your favor. You want to input Scorpion's fire breath when Melina stabs the opponent for the second time. There's pretty strict timing on that, so if you do it any earlier or later, Scorpion won't hit with his fire at all. The combo would look something like this. Remember, this is just kind of a base guide. I think the coolest part of this game is the depth and the creativity that can go into creating combos. With that in mind, you paid good money for this game, so play the game how you want to play it. Feel free to use these combos, feel free to do your own thing. But remember, just try to have fun with it. If you stuck around and watched this video, I appreciate y'all. There'll be more coming. I'll see y'all when I see y'all.